When you look at uh, different retailers, maybe different restaurants uh, out there, what do you yeah. think is going to be the key for them to succeed in this environment? You know, and obviously yeah. we've got a lot of challenges. They've got a lot of challenges with, yeah. you know, with COVID, with recession, with a downturn in the economy, expenses, you know, lots of costs. What are the keys to their success going to be? So these big restaurants, big stores, obviously they're going to have to have some sort of playbook from the government, uh, what they need to do. And again, that's complicated. What, what the staff has to do, uh, what restaurants have to do in terms of the physical distancing. So to, in order to succeed, we, we, we need the really uh, a real guide, a playbook that's that's concise, that's gonna be helpful for restaurants or stores, businesses. So no one's sort of going, what, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, and with reduced sizes, are, you know, are we able gonna even make it to open? And I think that's why a lot of stores right now, the box stores, they're, they're still not open. Because if they're only allowed a certain capacity in the store, well, well they may, might as well stay closed. It doesn't make sense to open if they're not gonna be able to even break even. You know, and even these big restaurants. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm hearing a capacity of 1,200. Even though your capacity is at 1,200, and let's say they're saying half at 600, they're saying, no, 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 it's not 600. You, you know, we're saying your capacity is going to be 100. With 100 capacity for a 1,200 seat restaurant, you're not going to open. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just saying, oh, you know, forget it. Forget it. We're just going to close. It makes no sense. <laughs>